Like, look how precise that had to be. I fucking hit her, but no, the game was just like, No, since he has the high ground, you can't do that shit. But fuck you, Gruntilda, I do what I want. Like, this is legitimate, real anger right now. This isn't that fake bullshit that's used for entertainment. No, this is just me being really livid. Me being absolutely pissed. Oh, god damn it. Can I just kill you now? I fucking hate you. You demolished the gray one, because you're a bitch. You hate life, you hate everything, you're just a cold-hearted ice queen. Except you're not even a queen, because at least if you were a queen, you'd be beautiful. You'd have riches and everything, but no one even likes you. You're just a bitch, and oh my god, you're the cheapest fucking whore I've ever met. Like... A prostitute would look at you and be like, God damn, you suck way too many dicks. And it's true, you suck way too many dicks. You are the epitome of dick sucker. If you, they look up fucking a whore in the dictionary, that's where you'd be. Your picture is right there. If they also looked up cheap, your picture would be right there as well. Also, if they looked up cunt, you'd be right there, grinning and Fucking laughing, Because that's what you are. You're a massive fucking cunt. Oh my god, I hate you. Oh fuck, I'm getting distracted now. But seriously, I hate this battle. I hate Gruntilda. I hate witches as a fucking supernatural being now. I guess there's eight. No, there's nine. Whatever. Cool. I don't actually give a shit how many worlds there are. I guess there's nine, because there's one in the Isle of Hags and there's eight worlds. That's cool. Where did my egg go? Oh, I don't have any eggs. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm super pissed off right now. I really need to get that house, but there's laser in my way. Weird how that works out, right? I'm not going to make it because I was far too well, okay, me. Well, maybe if you get into their fucking trunk. Ugh. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to break open her fucking back there. Because it just makes sure, it just makes it so she wants to be like, Oh, hey, let's release the gas and kill this guy. We're going to be like the Nazis and just gas chamber. A little bit, that's a little bit bad of an analogy, but that's pretty much what she's doing to me. She's the cheapest fucking thing I've ever seen. She's worse than Hitler. Hitler would see her and be like, God damn, calm your shit. Oh my... I am so livid. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna calm down just a bit, I guess. Seriously, fuck this battle. He's waving his left hand. I've answered these questions so many goddamn times. I, like, I'm sick of this trivia. There's some, I, I pretty much know all the answers now. Good, good, I hope you die. Why can't I not grab these honeycombs when I'm in that mode? It literally will not let me. Ugh. Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. I'm going to destroy everything you love. You are the epitome of bullshit. Ah, oh, thank you. Jesus. Yeah, we fight to the death. Good. Whatever. Don't care. Oh, okay. I can't do much. I need to get fucking more grenades. Grenades are literally the only weapon you can use against her that will fucking win the day. Like, that's how bad this is. You have to use the grenades. They're the strongest weapon you have. And, ah. Uh. I, I hate the fact that I get stuck on nothing. You see that, right? I get stuck on nothing. I'm... I've pretty much got the timing down for this now. Oh, yeah, and she shoots out minions, by the way. Her lovely, lovely minions. Which can... On... Honestly, can go fuck themselves. They constantly spawn, by the way. There, there's no end to them. It, it's... It's... Like... This is a clusterfuck. Like, you thought you had enough to worry about already? 
No, no, she pretty much just says, fuck that shit. How about we throw everything at him? I don't know what I keep getting stuck on. Because, honestly, uh, first person mode here doesn't allow me to see my surroundings. But I need to get this. And then I need to get the hell out of dodge. I need to get my fucking ammo. Otherwise, this battle's never going to be won. As soon as I get her down to, like, 10 health, pretty much, that's when the bullshit starts. That when That's when she's basically like, release the gas. Have fun. I don't know where her minion is. Oh, her minion's right there. That's, that's awesome. Oh, great. I'm glad that happened. I'm glad that I can just do that. Give me the fucking health. Jesus Christ. Okay, before, the minions were not dropping health. Yeah, now we start this bullshit. Now we start this endeavor. We start this fucking fun, 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 happy, happy time. You know how fucking great this is, don't you? Oh, you see just how much joy can be had in this moment. I, I'm glad Rare was just kind enough to be like, Oh, we're, we're not going to do this to you, at least with five health left. No, we're going to do this now. Oh my god, this is a fucking clusterfuck. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. God, oh god. Uh... Okay, I, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Uh... I'm scared when this gets down. Oh, thanks, thanks, minion. You see that, right? I hit her when she fucking hits me. Oh my fucking god! Like, this is such bullshit. Okay, people, I am finally back. Um, hello, 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 hello. Um, yeah, you can notice that it's completely glitching out right there. I finally defeated this fucking bitch of a boss. Holy crap, I don't know how long that took me. This To beat this one boss literally took me, like, about, I don't know, how long it usually takes me to do one recording session. So, I started recording this at... I don't know, probably around 2-ish. Even like 1.30. It's now fucking almost 4.30. That's how long I've been trying to beat this one boss. Give or take, like, the first part, which was really, really easy. Up until now, when I just beat this fucking bullshit. And we just get here, everyone's already partied out and shit. Ta-da! I'm pissed off. I am so absolutely goddamn annoyed. I have so much apathy for that fucking boss. Like my god. And I had I looked at a video and stuff just to like see, okay, maybe I just have to hit her once for that final part when she's shooting out her amazing super powerful beams of death. And the fucking kid was just like, oh, Gruntilla is very easy to beat. I'm just like, kid, you're a fuck. That, maybe if you practice that boss over and over and over and over, yeah, that boss is easy. But guess what? That boss isn't actually easy. It just means you're fucking well-practiced in fighting her. That boss is bullshit. It's cheap. It's tedious. It's annoying. It's so many things wrapped up into one fucking quagmire of bullshit. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I skipped that. My bad. Ugh, oh, fuck. I, I don't, I don't even care. Ta-da, people, we finally beat this game. Ugh. Oh, fuck, in one sec, maybe I can find the options here. There. Here, you can watch this while I'm talking. Oh, okay. So yeah, I finally beat her. I finally beat this game. We're moving on to a next game. The next game I'm going to be doing is Splatterhouse for the 360. 
Something that's actually very simple, something I can do, something that's mindless, something that's not gonna drive me fucking bonkers. I actually really like that game, uh, considering how many people actually back... Uh, let me control, collect myself, bleh. Considering how many people hated on that game and gave it bad reviews, I actually enjoy the game for some reason. I don't know, it's like a guilty pleasure, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that next. I'm gonna be finishing up uh, Wind Waker, and then I don't know what I'm gonna be covering that one up with. But before I even start doing those two, I'm gonna be doing a couple one-offs, uh, which I call Let's Looks. Let's Look, which basically it's big. It's C. It's kind of like what the Continue Show thing, Continue Show does, or um, I guess what fucking I wouldn't say Total Biscuit, but kind of that thing where it's not a review show. It's just basically. Looking at these games for like the first couple minutes, like I'm probably gonna be doing episodes in 30 minute intervals, one each, just to see how is the game? Is it good? Does it captivate you within those first couple minutes or the first playthrough, or whatever? Just to see if those games are good and see if you people would like to buy them, you know, kind of giving you a look into it but not giving you the entire thing so it doesn't ruin the story. So I'm going to be doing those one-offs uh, probably tomorrow, and those will be going up pretty soon, I guess. As for everything else with the channel, I do not know yet. I'm just glad I'm finally done this. I am just very glad I'm finally done this. I changed my remark. This is not my favorite game out of the Banjo-Kazooie series. Banjo-Kazooie is. Banjo-Kazooie has a certain charm to it, and while it certainly has flaws with it, it needed more content in it to truly be a great game, which this game did have content in it. But the, all this, this game also had content in it that was completely bullshit and fucking stupid. Like, the swimming. They never fixed the swimming. But they made an entire level based off of swimming. Awesome. They added in shoot 'em up sections, which were stupid. Why would you add in something like that when your fucking controls for the shoot 'em up sections are terrible as it is. That right there just boggles my goddamn mind. Uh, oh, fucking. The, the shoot 'em up sections just piss me off. The Canary Mary part. That right there was just god awful. The fucking Gruntilda boss battle. That was a terrible idea that you could have fucking developed so much better, but you didn't. You made it th so fucking stupid, so bad. Besides those things, besides those two major things and the one minor thing, this game is very fun. If you can get past the final boss being a complete and total fuckhead, and you can get past the Canary Mary part and this Cloud Cuckoo Land, then, yeah, by all means, buy this game. Fucking play this game. It's fun. Just be prepared for some major annoyance when it comes to those parts. And the swimming, it's its what it is. It's not bad, really. I mean, they alleviated, they made the one part that you really needed to swim better by not having a gauge where you would die. Basically, a time limit and how much, a time limit on how much you can actually survive in that water for. So yes, I suggest buying this game, but I take back the nostalgia blinded me there i take it back banjo kazooie way better game it's a way better game so if you have enough money to buy either or buy banjo kazooie just just buy banjo kazooie because banjo kazooie is a lot better it's a lot more tight there's not as much bullshit it's a fun game both are fun but out of those two banjo kazooie yeah definitely my favorite game one of my favorite games this one, I misremembered it quite well. So, yeah, not in the top 10 anymore. It, it's still a good game, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. So, with that said, thank you people for watching, and I'm out. I'm done recording. Fuck this. This is going to be a, like, this is going to be a nightmare to, re not record, to edit. Because of how much fluff and dead air there is. Like, I have no idea how I'm going to edit this, but I'll find a way. So thank you people for watching, and thank you for actually sticking through this series. I'm finally done with it. I'm, I'm finally done. I'm happy. I'm 
I'm just repeating everything I've already said. Okay, bye people. Thanks for watching.